Here in southeast Senegal, these women are gathering the produce from their flourishing vegetable garden. But only a few years ago, they were struggling to grow anything at all due to soil degradation and lack of water. An effect of climate change, says Iwin Daiwa, president of this women's cooperative. Before it was not easy. Due to lower rainfall, the soil became degraded and there was no more land to cultivate. We were going to move away, but now thanks to solar energy, we have enough water to develop our land. This solar energy is used to pump water from the wells, ensuring that the 65 women in Awas cooperative have a steady supply for irrigation. This is part of a $30 million investment by the Global Environment Facility and the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development. Working in a quarter of the country, they are improving irrigation systems and water management and introducing farming practices more suited to the climate, which is having a major impact on the communities, says the project's Abibulaya Ba. With the adoption of good farming techniques that are more suitable to the changed climate, the project has helped improve soil fertility, which has led to an increase in productivity, permitting the community to improve their standard of living, their health, as well as their nutrition. One technique to adapt to the changing climate is to diversify production. It makes for a more varied diet, and there is less chance of going hungry if one crop fails. Now with access to so much water, these women can grow a variety of vegetables. And they have also started fish farming, a new business that provides them with a good source of protein and another product to sell at the market. To make the most out of their yields, the women have also learned how to process their own food. Iowa says they can earn more and at the same time cut down on waste. Before, parts of the garden crops were not sold and were likely to rot. But by processing products like tomato sauce or jams, we were able to make a profit and create a fund to finance other activities. With this extra money, farmers can buy livestock and other foods. Awa, who was widowed five years ago, can now look after the 21 members of her extended family, including eight children and eight grandchildren. We have had record yields, and this allowed us to rebuild our house and buy sheep. Each woman in the group has at least four sheep, and some have bought oxen, others furniture. This project has had a very concrete impact on our lives. In a nearby village, more suitable crops are helping other farmers like Ajahn Dao make the most of their limited resources. Here, they are now growing a fast-maturing rice variety that can thrive with less rain. Good agricultural practices and technologies have saved us. Now we have less good land, but with seeds that have short cycle and high yields, instead of farming many hectares, we farm a few and still get a large production. Aira and Adja are amongst more than 32,000 families who have improved their nutrition, health and incomes through these changes. And more importantly, they are now better equipped to face an uncertain future and to cope with the challenges of a changing climate.